the pace of vaccinations picking up in the province. By the weekend, everyone 18 and over can book a spot for a shot. It's all getting BC closer to the end of this third wave. We are in a place where we're in a good direction and we need to keep it up. And we need to keep it up at least through the end of the May long weekend. If we do, restrictions could start easing off then. And if the trend of decreasing transmissions along with increasing vaccinations continues, Henry says there's hope for some small gatherings by July long weekend. So people planning weddings and things like that, you know, we still will have uh, the need to be cautious and through a period of time, make sure that we are keeping the virus down. So don't start thinking about making plans yet unless it's to get vaccinated. So if you know anyone, especially those between 18 and 30 who haven't registered yet or thought it, the age based um, immunizations was a sufficient way away from them. Now is the time to register, register, register. It is, it is a, uh, a big, I think, a big move in terms of the age cohorts is going to happen over the coming weekend. Vaccinations are key to what Dr. Henry calls Restart 2.0, but they aren't 100%. By May 1st this year, 79,480 people in B.C. with at least a dose caught the virus. Almost all of those, though, before immunity could kick in. But 1,340 after 21 days and 120 people after their second dose. Of all those, 30 people died. All this means reopening will be cautious. We learn all the time. This virus has taught us that we cannot be complacent. Um, we know I'm watching very carefully what's happening in the UK, and I think that's a very good example for people to think about slowly, gradually reopening. Details will start coming next week on what those incremental changes will be to start. For City News in Victoria, I'm News 1130's Lisa Yuzda.